Hang Na Bay in Thailand's south. A fantastic seascape dotted with hundreds of limestone outcrops. Scientists, geologists, naturalists and travellers are filled with awe when first viewing these incredible islands. Many believe that this canyon bay started in the underwater some 130 million years ago. It was then part of the longest coral reef in the world, which stretched from the Malay border to the north of Vietnam. About 100 million years ago, the limestone rock began to push upwards from the sea. Today the islands are home to fishing families and the sea gypsies to gather birds' nests from high up the sheer cliffs. Many of the islands have an inner open space known as a hong, where lagoons are formed providing a treasure trove for nature seekers. Canoes are the best way to see the islands from the inside without disturbing the pristine state of the flora and fauna which has survived undisturbed for thousands of years. Nothing gets closer to nature than a sea canoe adventure. fascinating water world of tidal sea caves and cliff-lined lagoons. Some rise sheer from the water, others are humped or jagged, and all are strange and hauntingly beautiful. There are also mangroves that are home to many varieties of birds and animals. The beautiful green-topped island outcrops seem at times to defy gravity, a powerful reminder of what nature can do when left to her own devices. Sea canoeing is very much for those who enjoy navigating their own journey, and there is a deep pleasure in making your own discoveries and pausing for a while to reflect. In Pangna Bay, the local guides offer overnight explorations of the islands as well as providing first-hand cultural education. You can take three days or more paddling into the caves and gliding across the lagoons. The creatures who live here are sometimes hiding, but often you'll be lucky enough to see the wildlife for yourself. 